Welcome back to Off the Record, where we talk about whatever we want. What's up? Oh, hey, we're the only ones. Today we have a real life girl here. Whoa! A real life girl! Oh, oh, hey, you look familiar. You guys fucked up. You've never called me a girl. Like you've never called me a girl. I called you. A, I called you a bitch before. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Nice. Is that only for girls? Score. Nope. Ding, nope. Ding, ding. No, there's a lot of guy bitches. I've called you a girl with a big ass dick. Yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. I'll take it. Happy to be here, boys. If you did have a dick, you'd probably have a long one. A really thick one. Like this I appreciate big. that. I think Jill like would be a, one of these schlongers. Oh, damn. She's packing it. Like, Dragging it on the floor. That's a big one. I'm a Steve? Yeah, low key. Not true. <laughs> <laughs> Hyperbole. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and propaganda. You can't use words. I keep telling you. What? Yeah. Hyperbole? You said hyperbole. 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 Yeah. Hyperbolic. Hyperbolic. Hyperbolic chamber. What's the difference between a hyperbolic and a hyperbole? Well, hyperbole probably doesn't happen. <laughs> That's why we have a girl here. She can help us. Yeah. <laughs> What's a hyperbole? hyperbole? I don't know. I just have a big dick. Yeah. Why do you have so many bagels? Um, That's uh, a lot of bagels. I just ran out the door because oh. uh, we had a really busy morning today. But Did I'm you here. come here from Vegas like this morning? No, we arrived last night, but then we went to train at Barbell Brigade. Um, and then from there, we just fucking rushed over here, and I didn't get to eat any food. So I got the bagel. Where do you stay? Where do you guys stay at now? My mom's house. Oh. It's very interesting. Is your with mom a taika? With taika? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's really cool. Nice. It's very interesting because she lives in the hood hood. So just the conversations that I hear are always very weird. What what do you mean, mean, like, like her? Her? Like, Talk um, shit about my family. Let's go. No, no, like, uh, like Talk this more morning, shit about there was a car Good. with the emergencies on on the side, <laughs> and then so she calls her mom and was like, "Hey, so there might be a stolen car that was left here. Just to let you know. <laughs> just very nonchalant stuff. Yeah. Or like, or I'm like, "Hey, mama, I think I'm gonna go jogging," and then she's like, "Okay, don't get shot." I'm like, "Thank you." I think that, I think that's just good advice though when you go right yeah, you know, anywhere you go. I mean, you know, that's that is, not normal stuff yeah. if you live in like Monterey Park or something. I think because Bart's running around, he's like, oh, gunshot. <laughs> Monterey Park is so fucking elevated. My bad. No, but, but where you live or where your mom lives, it's a lot of dangerous things going on. There is, there is. But that's LA though. Like you drive ten minutes and all of a sudden there's like gunshots. Yeah. And then some and you walks drive too. Yeah, for sure. You could even go to Beverly Hills and it's still fucking kind of sketchy sometimes. Yeah, if you go That's around true. a certain corner, you're like, That's what true. the fuck happened? This is yeah. crazy. Do you have that in Vegas? That's true. Yeah, bro. Don't <laughs> set me up. Do you I can feel the Vegas, setup bro? from a mile away. There... Why do you talk so much shit about California? I fucking love California. I never talk shit about California. Yeah, you do. You seem pretty defensive, bro. Ever since he moved. You can't wait so to talk defensive. shit. I can't wait to talk shit on Kelly. I fucking hate California. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I fucking hate what this What are your gripes? Go. Oh, dude, just what we pay. Nobody, everybody's priced out of the housing market. Everybody is. Like, it's crazy. That's and why you gotta buy Luna and make money <laughs> so then you can stake that shit, baby. And then you can stay in California shielded away from all of the things and you can't worry, you don't have to worry about money. That's the hope is that we get to build an Elysium in California. <laughs> Elysium! God, what is that? What the fuck mean? is Elysium? It's a fucking movie. Same, same, same. It's a movie. Oh, oh. That wasn't even that good of a. <laughs> I, thought it was, I thought it was another crypto. Yeah. I was like, what the I fuck? I was like, what coin is that again? Why'd like, you say Animal Elysium? House? Like two words I understand. Elysium? No. Elysium's different. Yeah, it's not an asylum. It's where all the rich people build oh. this like super sick place and then they're like, hey, basically fuck everybody down there. Like a greenhouse. Oh. It's kind of how our economy is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exclusively. Is it yeah, like yeah, a yeah. bubble? Like yeah. a dome bubble? So it's, a, it's an actual thing? It's like a space station. Mm -hmm. It's a Matt Damon movie, guys. Yeah. yeah Which it's, one? It's, well, there's a lot of them. That's true. <laughs> we bought a zoo. No? We bought a zoo. It's a great fucking movie. <laughs> Underrated, bro. No one ever He's in that? Yeah, he's the star, Matt he's Damon. He's the face right? of it. He's on the po Called in the fucking, we bought a zoo. He bought the zoo. Matt Damon bought the zoo. Well, no, we the, we bought the zoo. Oh, yeah, that's right. So him and the, his wife, I think. This is, this is a good movie. No, fuck no. <laughs> I don't think bad. so. I don't, I've never seen it, though. Maybe it's great. Oh. But I'd be down with the atrium. atrium. The atrium? I, 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 atrium. That's a good ring to it. Yeah. Are we so talking about crypto now, or what are we talking about? Yeah, the the words, three, <laughs> Ethereum, <laughs> atrium, it does sound similar. <laughs> Gio, what do you like about Vegas so much? Um, so someone described it as frictionless living, and it's literally that. Minimal traffic, um, everything's really clean. The mask situation is just kind of like, it's not in the middle, it's either like, you have the option. They allow the masks to have a hole in it. Whoa. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> mouth hole? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can literally do anything. Uh, like you can go to the desert, you can go to the mountains, you can- um, You can go to the beach. At the wind? Yeah. Uh, you live right by a lake. <laughs> yeah, 
it's not that, but the, there's it, actually a beach, the Lake Mead. Yeah, oh yeah, okay, it. okay, right. Yeah, it's like <laughs> a few Lake minutes Mead from beach. our house. <laughs> Fuck, I kind of like everything about it, dude. I prefer all the fake shit too, by the way. I'd rather go to a <laughs> fake beach any day of the week. <laughs> you know what's funny? So we've been traveling to Utah, and literally all the dope landscapes, you're like, oh, that's cars from downtown Disney. Oh, yeah. what? Yeah, cars that, like, oh, right. Disney <laughs> does such a good job of branding. Oh, like, we'll be in, like, uh, Munich, Germany. I'm like, this is Disneyland. <laughs> this is Disneyland. <laughs> That's a stupid. You know, it's not Disney. You're uncultured swine. <laughs> we, absolutely, a hundred percent. Their parents when they start referencing Disney shit. We don't say this is how Disney copied. Yeah. We're like they're copying Disney. <laughs> it's like you see the Eiffel Tower. You're like Vegas. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Vegas. Just like the Strip. Yeah. In Vegas, they have all of it together. I like that better. <laughs> yeah. One stop shop, right? Yeah. There's something yeah. for it. I don't have to go so far to get all these places like Italy in fucking Paris. Put I can just get it in one street. <laughs> get it in one street. It's just the fucking tower. I do like that. I do. <laughs> How does it I mean, feel to be back? Um, good. I'm trying to catch up with you guys. General, but it sounds LA like LA not LA. much LA. not LA. much has LA. changed. You haven't even been in LA for like a whole month. Um, it's really humid now. I I in like LA? realize, yeah. It's just dry over there, so that when you come back, yeah, yeah, it feels true. absolutely, yeah, one hundred percent. It's just so dry that when yeah. I when I when I'm here, my hair like just feels fucking huge right now. I feel sticky. Like you're in Hawaii. What? Like you're in Florida. Not that bad, but it feels like it's like a good day in Florida. It really is because it's just dry as fuck. Over yeah, no, I know. I was getting like bloody noses, my fucking snot's all crusty, like my skin was really like, like See, that's, sucked. that's the nose. negative part of Vegas that I just feel like I can't stay for a while. But, when you but you, the bloody nose, after a month, good. it crusts yeah. up. No, when you get the bloody nose, you look yourself in the mirror and go, this is why I pay less taxes. <laughs> <laughs> Stick it out, Bart. Stick it out. It's all like, fuck it. I save money on my taxes. <laughs> Meanwhile, your brain's boiling in your head. <laughs> You're like, I love Vegas. It's fucking hot, but I love it. <laughs> I, I don't think we've been here back in a month. Uh uh, yeah, right? I've been here in a whole month, yeah. Damn. Yeah, and there's scorpions you gotta look out for. I'm not look used to that. Scorpions? Yeah, see, I didn't know that. that's no fair. How big scorpions? Are scorpions? Uh, well, we saw one that was like this big. So we got like a. So now. It's a normal thing though, because it's the desert. Like cockroaches. Oh, kill, kind of. bro. Yeah, that's their cockroach. So do you kill them or you just catch them? Well, luckily, that's the only one we saw. So now I got the service where like they, <laughs> they do that pest control. Like we do it every single month. So like oh. we're not gonna get any. I saw one in the garage, so I stomped on it. I don't know if it's alive or not. It's still there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just, just <laughs> kidding. Stop that in, you're not sure it's alive? No, it's because, you know, Taika. I don't want him to go, what's that? And then, yeah. Wait, it's still there? Yeah, he, he stomped yeah, on it, but for Taika, he left it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Taika, this is for you. We got to do JK News. We got to leave. <laughs> do you even listen to what he says? <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. I take the pincher off and I just poke Taika with it. Look at this. And then he builds immunity. Yeah. Then he That's won't be scared smart. of it, right? That's, That's real parenting, by the way. Yeah. I feel like you would get like tooth floss, wrap it around the scorpion, and Taika would give it a walk. <laughs> oh, that's tight. That is fun. Yeah. How did you come up with that shit? Yeah, walking a pet scorpion. Didn't yeah. Gina do that once with a beetle and we were all really? pretty disturbed? <laughs> oh, shit. Disturbed is the right yeah, word. Yeah, she had like dental floss, she tied it around a beetle and yeah, she was she walking did. it. And she was like, right the beetle was trying to fly away and she was like, yeah, I'm walking the beetle. Really? Yeah. It was, oh, that's tight. It was thoroughly disturbing. Why? Was it sad for the beetle? No, it was just a weird imagery to see. It was oh, like a watching man. live anime to me. Yeah. <laughs> it was very odd. Today's video is brought to you by Human. Human. Health via modern nutrition. It's pretty cool because I've been on this whole keto diet, you know what I mean? Um, I've been integrating some intermittent fasting and this has probably been the most healthiest and the most, uh, what's the word, like lightest that I've been feeling in my whole entire life. You also said your IBS kind of went away too, right? By eating healthier? Huge. Like I used to deal with problems with diarrheas. All the time. Eating gas station food all the time. <laughs> when you get to a certain age, you, you just can't eat. I'm 37, right? I can't I can't eat gas station burritos every single day. No, you, you know? can't. I don't have that body no more, man. Yeah. So I started to do keto. And um, when you're conscious about what you're putting into your mouth, you start realizing, hmm, you know, there's a lot of sugar in everything. Like in a savory burrito, there's sugar in there. Yeah. Like everything you buy, I don't know why there's so much sugar, right? And Even that's why- Even savory I, snacks have sugar. Exactly, like chips. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, I need to get rid, rid of this belly and I'm trying to be like fit for the rest of my life. So I'm like, I gotta do this now. 
And so big ups to Human because they sent me a bunch of bars. It's freaking delicious, man. And when I want that fix, they do have items that kind of trick my mouth into thinking that they're kind of sweet, but they're not. There's no carb really. And I got my own fix and I can stay healthy without going overboard with the gas station food. Yeah, and like Joe, there's a lot of people that are trying to clean up their lifestyle choices, whether they're on keto or not, and that's what's dope about Human, because they're a nutrition company. They're trying to take the guessing game out of counting macros, whether you are running keto, or if you just want to reduce the amount of sugar intake, and they got stuff like MCT oil, the Human Keto Food Bars, they got all kinds of stuff. So if you're trying mm -hmm. to figure out and pick healthier lifestyle choices, in case you got IBS too, or you just want to feel better about yourself, go to human.com, that's hvmn.com slash off the record for 10% off your first order. 10% off your first order, go to hvmn.com slash off the record. Oh guys, I actually found a four and a half star Sizzlers that we what? gotta go check out. Where? Yeah, it has it has like 600 reviews. What? Yeah. What do they it's do the different? Uh -huh. I know, right? And I looked at the pictures, and they look the food looks decent. Like I was like, this is the childhood Sizzlers that I remember, because I remember it was good quality, or I don't know what quality. How old were you? <laughs> fuck, I was an elementary school kid, but I loved I loved Sizzler. They had the best Dino Nuggets, right? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> really good. Dino they're, right. they're fucking buffet, all that. Yeah. No, I just remember it being so dope, right? And then people actually dressed up for it or whatever. Yeah. And then it I went to shit. I remember. <laughs> I remember going like at celebration time. So they have a dress code. Like you win the spelling bee and you go to Sizzler. Or it was a know. fine establishment, man. It was. It was like going to fucking Black Angus or something. Don't you think that we're also uncultured swine as well? Maybe. Because because when I was that age, I used to think Chuck E. Cheese was like gourmet. Hong Tan Buffet. What it is? Have you eaten now though? Dude, I haven't. I haven't. It's bomb. Pasquale is so good. It's fucking Pasquale good. Is good. Yeah. They, they act, during the COVID times, they actually reopened their pizza kitchen and renamed it Pasquale's. And if anyone's oh. actually ordered it online, it's it, that's actually Chuck E. Cheese. Did you order from Pasquale's? Yeah. Oh, what? Is and it's good? actually good. But then, but then when I ordered it, I knew it was Chuck E. Cheese. So you're kind of like, oh, it's Chuck E. Cheese pizza. The bar. But if you didn't know, I, dude, you would totally oh. think it's some gourmet. Was it all mismatched? Oh. Like, uh, you know how they went through that? You know the the, the drummer guy, the the chef. Guy how do I character? forget it? Yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah. him. That's Pasquale. That's Pasquale. Yeah, no, Pasquale. Wait, I'm saying, I didn't know. That's him on the pizza oh, box. No, but she's saying, is it mismatched? Like where the pizza slices? That was their controversy. Like they the had oh, like the leftover right. pizza. No, no, yeah. they, they hit it really well. Or oh, they or they wouldn't be leftovers because it's COVID. Oh, true. Oh yeah, Maybe. no one's there. Oh, That's yeah. true, cause some of the slices will be like this thin, and I'm like, what the fuck, dude? You know? <laughs> or there's pepperoni on a vegetarian pizza, yeah. and they're like, how does this happen? It's a nice walk card. <laughs> I just don't remember. I would think, oh, that's cool when I was a kid. You know, <laughs> like I'd be like, oh, cool, they're different sizes. Oh, cool, the pepperoni's over here. <laughs> I used to love the uh, the square pizzas. Me too. Cause then the ones in the middle don't even have crust. You just grab one of these guys. You don't want the crust. I didn't like crust as a kid. What? I didn't like crust either. I don't like shit. crust. I still even don't now? Like crust. I like it now, but I don't oh, like it as a kid. With the garlic dip. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But otherwise, nah. I only case you could hate on crust. <laughs> it's fucking dry. Come it's on, bread. Tell bro. me why you, you hate like bread. Do you hate I don't bread? like bread. I don't. I actually oh. don't like bread. That makes sense. I, don't like bread. I love bread. Oh, so when you go to an Italian oh, restaurant and they got that soft, warm you bread with the pesto, yeah, he no gets way. angry at the chef. Only Casey could hate on bread, man. <laughs> I, I, I would hate on bread. You got, you got there a lot of butter on bread for me to like it. I had no idea. Wait, what about like a croissant or like? Oh, croissant's great. Oh, so it's different because it's buttery. What, what about like bread? Like bread? Like when it's not good, it has to be exceptional. What about for it to the fucking good. cheesecake, chocolate, fucking bread? Oh goddamn! No, no. Oh, the brown bread. Cause that's soft and moist. You're talking about just regular like sour. rolls and bread. White bread, like, Wonder like Bread. Throat. No, yeah. What it's if it's sour bread? Bread. whatever? <laughs> What about freshly baked? It's yeah. pretty good. So it has to be good quality bread. It has to be good quality, but <laughs> like, like the quality, bread. the quality of bread goes down really fast. <laughs> it does. Dude. Like the moment it comes out the oven, it goes down so fast, and I'm just like, I can't handle stale bread. Damn, you are bougie. That's a hot take, bro. Not it's liking not bread is a hot take. I, think. I, I also yeah. went into a debate with these guys. I was like, I don't like sandwiches either. Sandwiches are boring. Like, well, if you don't like if you don't like bread, you're not gonna like sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. That's the A to the Z, dude. <laughs> you decided you don't like all sandwiches. There's not one sandwich you like. I would never choose American to go. American sandwich, yeah. Uh, 
specific because there's bun, a bun are pretty good but i That's would never okay. i would never go out of my way to be like let's go get a sandwich for lunch i know what or you mean. for dinner you know like yeah. I, i'm gonna i'm gonna go get fucking food like real food like give me a steak or like you know if i could yeah, choose yeah, yeah, yeah. i would never choose a sandwich you could have a steak sandwich <laughs> Sandwich no, not solid, the same. Bro. Not not the same because it's thinned out steak. I like the I like the chunk of meat that you gotta chew on. You know, but like when it's like thinned out, it's just like you don't really taste the. You taste, you're tasting bread more. You're tasting. Uh, you gotta go get roast beef sandwich at a deli, dude. I promise you, they give you so much meat. You're like, this looks like it was just made, like in the back I think from a just cow. Slaughtered the yeah. fucking. Cow. Oh yeah, give, give never, it give it to me like that. Ever crave a Reuben? Yeah, a good pastrami. Reuben. Cuban yeah. sandwich. Nah. Yeah, oh, a nice pastrami. little Cuban. Yeah. Dude, I'm getting hungry, bro. What's your favorite I love sandwich? You, dude. Uh, Reuben? No, so like, I'm kind of like you. Where... He's like anything with two breads. <laughs> you like the big man. I want two that's breads it. and another bread. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, fuck. like you, like where it's like, if I could just get meat or whatever, that's for sure my go to. Yeah. Right? Like if you go to like Brazilian barbecue, yeah. Yeah. you don't go, give me this picanha in two pieces of carbs. I don't do that. Right. But I can also enjoy a really good sandwich when, if like all the flavors kind of blend and complement each other. Like I like oh. do, I do like Reuben because it is like a smoked meat and then on top they use like, I don't know, what's that called? Thousand Island. Coleslaw, like that. Sauerkraut. Russian. Or coleslaw. The Russian dressing. Russian, whatever the fuck is yeah. called. And then you got the uh, the other bread that has like rye. <laughs> fucking in sandwich it. hype man over there. <laughs> <laughs> this guy loves oh, Rubens, bro. Yeah. This guy yeah. loves yeah. Dijon. Yeah. Coleslaw. Yeah. Grape Poupon. Fucking yeah. yeah. yep. only. Toast it. Toast it. Let's go. Sandwich dude. boys. I just took offense to that. I was like, bro, you don't like sandwiches? That's my life. Next like, t-shirt, dude. I love salad out ingredients. <laughs> Yo. Mayo, Yo, fucking man. extra lettuce, pickles. <laughs> That's tight. That's so sick. We just gotta get you the right sandwich, I, I think. Bring what me about, the right sandwich. What about Mexican torta? Yeah, those are pretty good. Uh, so tor so tor just got American ah, sandwiches. Oh, those are. Oh. No, I get what you're saying. It's like I'm the same way. It's like if if we're going out for lunch, like I'll be like, yeah, let's get sushi, let's get cream bar, we'll get some something or deconstructed sandwich that I can construct it together, you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But then like, <laughs> like like if you go to what like that uh uh like that barbecue spot and and well most barbecue spots are like Rudy's or whatever, or, like they're like deconstructed sandwiches basically. That's true. Like you have to put it together, right? That's true. But then, um, yeah, like sandwiches, it, to me, it's like a to-go food. Like yeah. when you're on the it's run like a or snack. like if you're it's busy. Not, it's, not yeah, a, yeah. it's not a meal but, but the psychology behind it is like, if I had a choice, that wouldn't be my first choice. Yeah, but this cat's like, I don't like sandwiches. That's like saying, I don't like ice cream. I only like vanilla. Yeah. It's like, there's a lot of people like that though. Well, yeah, I know, but that's what I'm saying. You do like some sandwiches. Let me ask you this though, and not to get political. Get political. Oh, yeah. what the Popeye's, fuck? Popeyes go there. Popeye's chicken it. sandwich, love it. Yes. Very good. So you do like sandwiches. Yeah. No, no, no. no. <laughs> do you good. like burgers? Ooh, is it a sandwich? Is, is it considered one? I, think it is. I don't think so. Burgers are absolutely sandwiches, guys. I think, I think it's a sandwich. I think burgers are burgers. And burgers are delicious. What makes it a difference? How for is you? a burger not a sandwich? It's two bread with meat and shit in the middle. Yeah. Yes. How do you and describe it? And it shares it shares tomatoes and lettuce and yeah. How do you all, describe it? I think sandwich is made with. Don't um, say cold meats because some of them come hot. No, no. I, I think I think what messes with my mind is it's got to be toast or it's got to be baguette or like a roll or a croissant and it can't be like a bun. But everything, burgers have all kinds of different, like brioche and all that other yeah. shit. What about a sloppy it, joe? What if, is a sloppy joe? If you put joe? like a chicken in it, then it's a chicken sandwich, maybe. Like a Popeye's chicken sandwich. I'll give it, it's not a chicken burger. What if you put a burger patty in two slices it. of bread? Like a melt. A patty melt. Like, like a, a patty melt. melt. Yeah. That's is a that patty melt sandwich. See, not a burger. No. So it's burger the combination though. of a, a well, because it's a toast, right? It probably is a sandwich. They can't help you. But my heart says no. They are a, a, they became a class of its own. Like I think it probably Trash. morphed out <laughs> of a sandwich, and then and then it became its own thing. You know, mm. like like a truck oh. is an automobile. I would say it's an automobile, yeah. but it's but it became a class of its own. It's Get a fucking, fucking truck. real, Joe. <laughs> that's, that's what it is. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Actually, I'm actually surprised at how intense that explanation got. It doesn't make sense though. It's political. It doesn't. It's political, dude. It tears families apart. It makes a lot of sense. Look, a sandwich would be an automobile, right? Same thing, and then a burger would be a truck. It's a right. subset. But, but it, a truck is an automobile. It yeah, is. Color. It is. But when you look at it, when you think automobile, you think car. You don't think truck. 
you think car. Depends on the context of the conversation. If we're talking in work terms and we're like on the job site. But who says, yo, bring that automobile here. You say bring that truck here. Who says automobile, by the way? And I'm not saying it's not the same yeah. thing, but that's that's what I, it's a class of its own. But if someone, say, goes, if someone goes, anyone in the mood for a sandwich, like, I can go for a burger. And then I it's think it's different. Okay. It, it hey, usually yeah. means something completely different. When someone asks me, you want a sandwich, I go, I'm thinking BLT, turkey club, baguette. True, the boring one. I'm not thinking a hamburger. Baguette sandwich. <laughs> My mind goes to baguette sandwich. <laughs> Is a lox bagel a sandwich then? It's an open face. Open face open sandwich. Get out of here, bro. Come on, sandwich? dude. Like, what the fuck? Open bro. face. It's this guy, it's Was an open face sandwich. I thought you were hyping me up. Oh, now man. you're bringing me down. Oh, well, it's also. That's what happens on that side a lot. Well, it's also just. They have your back and then leave you hanging. When I, when I don't agree, I just. Don't agree. I'm no, sorry. I think I'm a I'm a I'm a pro segregationist because like <laughs> when I think of that I think breakfast sandwich which is a, its own thing. It but might as well be a to toast. Be. You know what that is? That's yeah. a toast, bro. Oh yeah. A toast like toast avocado like toast. Like avocado toast. Is that a sandwich? No, Come a on, man. Get your bagel sandwiches out of my sandwiches. <laughs> Open face. That's not. It's just a breakfast sandwich. Do you want to know what my also. version of a sandwich is? Wait, I thought Leo. you were looking the definition up. <laughs> He was right. It can't help me. The internet oh. can't help me. So we don't know if burgers are sandwiches I officially. Don't know. I it's up to us. It's whatever no, they're, we feel they're all they're all sandwiches. I, I just don't like that it is. Okay, mm. so my version of a sandwich, and I know I'm gonna break some hearts in this group, uh, but is Thai food. That's my version of a fucking sandwich. What do you Explain mean? this. Explain, Explain this. this. I just don't ever go like. I just don't think it's a full on meal. Like, oh, I, I see. I see. I see. Like, like my my thoughts on right. sandwiches. What you think about Thai food? Yes. What? That's what I'm right. saying. No, it doesn't feel like what, it. How is it not get? a full what meal? What um, I just feel like, I, like one, I'm never craving it. I'm never like, oh, okay, let's fucking enough. go get Thai food. Fair and then enough. once, then then the the rare occasion when I do eat it, I'm like, I don't feel like I eat shit. So I'm like, forget Wait, it. You, I'm just you, gonna you, get over. If you, you eat an entire pad Thai, you don't you don't get full off of pad Thai. Not really. Like an entire order. Like of pad it just thai. gets digested so really fucking quick. Mm. Are you, did you just review Tim's parents cooking just now? <laughs> <laughs> they don't have that restaurant anymore. So no, no, I didn't. I only got to taste it when we were filming, and that's a completely different. <laughs> and it wasn't a meal. Because it was cold. Yeah, it was not a meal. It was not a fucking <laughs> meal. I will die on this fucking so mountain. It was a it was a snack. Thai. Yeah. When you stuff your face with pad thai, you don't get full. I don't feel satisfied. I don't feel that. You know what oh, I'm talking about. Satisfied. I don't know how to. I don't satisfied. know how to explain that. <laughs> I guess we all have that. Yeah. Right. We all have a food where we're like. Eh. That's like me with salad. It's lukewarm. I can. Salad I can stuff salad. myself with any salad, and it doesn't feel like I'm. Doesn't feel like I busted my culinary nuts. Well, yeah, you gotta bust that nut. It's not satiating. You yeah, it's not satiating that at all. Nothing competes with Mexican food, though, bro. So I get it. If you that's come true. from that, like, and that's like what you're used to, like, you're never gonna get close. Not, <laughs> so, you, so you think Thai food isn't hearty enough for you? Hearty, yeah. Mm. I think it's what we eat with Thai food yeah. too, though, because I started eating different things with when I went to go eat Thai food with Southeast Asian friends. They like order what? different shit. Like, like what? Like I don't, we never get like pad thai and shit like yeah, that. Exactly. It's like more meats and other yeah, stuff. Bro, too much carbs, not yeah. enough protein. I like a curry though, I like I like a nice Thai curry. curry. Because I feel like Thai food in America is very different than what they eat in Thailand. Oh dude, look at Indian food. Yeah. A little slept on thing by the way people don't know about. Get the chicken tikka masala. <laughs> <laughs> I had a friend who's a cook. He uh, he showed me that one. 